Hi folks, Bob Collins for Edge Hog. We're going to be going over the assembly of the 2020 Total Buoyancy Control System. Now, I'm going to put down in the description a link to the PDF which will give you the written and photographic representation of the assembly of this unit. So if you would prefer to go there and follow along with your, maybe on your computer or on the printed PDF, however you would like to do that. If you would like to watch this video in concert with looking at that, that's great too. So what we're gonna start with is we're gonna start on page three and in page three, you're gonna notice at the top of the page, it says starting with the right shoulder. So we're gonna do this in steps, it's pretty simplistic. Now we're gonna start with the right shoulder strap. If you look on page three, you'll see a description and a picture of the items needed for the right shoulder strap. What you're gonna see is a shoulder pad. You're going to see the chest strap with the tri-glide on it, and what this is, this is half of it. And then we've got a pre-bent D-ring, and we've got a flat D-ring, and we've got two keepers, and again, we've got the shoulder adjuster. Now what I've got here is I've got half, the top half of the shoulder adjuster. And there, it's just simpler to use it this way. And what I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna show you how to define the front and the back of this adjuster. If you look, you see a seam here. And if you turn it over, you're gonna see a seam and a flap. The seam and the flap is the back part that goes against your body. Just the seam is what's going to be facing out of your body. So that's the top half. That's what we need. All right, we also have a shoulder strap. Now there's two of these in the kit. So just take out one of them. In the middle step, what we're going to do is we're going to take our shoulder pad. We're going to take half our tri-glide if you're right-handed the best thing to do is utilize the male portion of the tri-glide. We're going to pass through so that we have about six inches of the strap sticking up. That's what you're going to see in that middle picture on that page. We're going to take our shoulder pad. Again, you're going to notice it's got three loops at the top and one loop at the bottom. We're going to take our six inches we're going to pass it through the bottom so that it sticks up and it's going to be just short of these top loops up here. If you look at the bottom picture on page three, we're going to take our ring, we're going to pass our strap through the ring, we're going to pull it up until the ring, the bottom of the pad, like what you see there. And then we're going to take this strap and we're going to pass it through the first slot. It kind of helps if you'll just bend the tri-glide like this so you get a slot and slide your strap through there, pull it up until it's resting on the bottom of the pad like you see here. Most of us will take the pre-bent D-ring and we're going to slip the pre-bent D-ring onto the strap, slide it down. You see it in the picture. We're going to pass our strap through the top part of the tri-glide and snug it until we have this. Now we're going to take our strap, that loop right there, we're going to pass the strap up through that loop along with our six inches and we're just going to pull it up. This is what we've got. Again, make sure your little uh, flap is down and just the seam is up like what you see there. Now what we're going to do 
is on the bottom of page four. We're going to see where we put our keeper. We're going to take one of our keepers, and that keeper is going to go just above the loop, like this. And most of us now will take our regular D-ring. So now you're going to have basically one, two, three connection points on the right strap. And then just bend your keeper and run your strap through. And like you see on page four, step five, it will snug up and this is what you'll have. Now, you'll take your strap, run it on up, and depending on how much of the shoulder pad you want to roll forward or back, then you'll select whichever one of these loops gives you the best fit, and you can kind of try it on, but give you the best fit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run it through this first loop, and you're going to see this on page five, step seven. So I'm going to bring my strap on up, keep everything nice and snug. I'm going to take my other keeper, and I'm going to run the keeper down my strap. So this is locking in the upper part of the strap to the upper part of the pad, and this portion is what locks in the strap to the pad on the lower portion. And now that keeper is laying in between those lower two loops. Again, if you want more roll forward, then run it through and put it through between the second and the first. And as you can see in step eight of the PDF, I'm gonna run my strap through and right on up, just like that. And that is assembly of the right shoulder strap. So now we have our right shoulder assembled. We're going to move to our left shoulder. And the main difference in the left shoulder is that we're going to be adding the retention strap for our inflator hose that comes over your left shoulder. And it's going to go between, let me get a close up for you. And you're gonna see this on the bottom of page six. But what you're gonna see is you're gonna have your keeper, but you're gonna notice we did not put the flat D-ring on this keeper because usually the inflator's hanging over here, so that becomes fairly ineffective. And in a few minutes, I'll show you how we put that down on the waist strap. But you'll see our inflator hose keeper, and it just slides over like this. And of course, you're using the female portion of the triglide chest strap on the left side, and it's assembled exactly the same way. So that's it for this video on the assembly of the shoulder straps in the 2020 Total Buoyancy Control System. Now, in the next video, I'm going to go over attaching the shoulder straps to both the soft plate and the hard plate, as well as attaching the waist straps and the weight pockets on these units. So if you're new here, reach down and hit the subscribe button. We're on our way to a thousand subscribers here on the Edge Hog channel, and we appreciate you guys watching. See you again soon. Thanks a lot.